when you risk your life to get a BBL, when you have five children, I'm sorry to say it to you ladies out there, but you obviously have mental issues. Y'all just don't get it. Y'all just don't get it. Salute to the MABW team. I'm back with another video. No matter how many times I come on my platform and tell you women that you're risking your life to have a perfect behind for who? For who? Some of you women out here that go through these procedures and y'all don't even really need them, I believe you have mental problems. Because if I know that there is a possibility that I could die by getting a procedure that I don't need, I'm not going to take that risk. Especially when I have children to provide and be here for in life. Men are not taking those kind of risks. You women, for some reason, you're always willing to take a risk to look better for who? Now, in this video that I'm going to talk about, as far as this article right here, a mother of five went to go get a BBL procedure done. Granted, the person that was doing the BBL was not licensed or authorized to do the BBL. You're you going to you going to get one when you have five children already. Who were you trying to impress? Who were you doing it for? Are you doing it to impress another man? Are you doing it so you can possibly get another man in life? Which in all honesty, I don't know which man is going to take on a woman with five children. There are some men out there that will do that. But you risking going on a surgery table and dying so that you can possibly get another man in life. She finds out or she's not going to because she's in the grave now. But in the end, it wasn't worth it. Let's get into this damn article real quick, okay? A Tennessee mother of five died after she had a Brazilian butt lift performed by a Miami doctor who allegedly was not allowed to operate on patients. Erica Russo, 33 years old. Let's stop it right there. She's 33 years old with five children. 33. And she has five children already. Let's keep going. Erica Russell traveled to Sedu Seduction Cosmetic Center's facility in Coral Gables, Florida in June 2021 to undergo the cosmetic procedure. During the procedure, her doctor, John Sampson, John Sampson, punctured her liver, her bladder, and her intestines with a cannula, a tube primarily used for removing fluid from the body, the lawsuit filed Monday in Miami-Dade County Court alleges. A little over two hours after the, after the procedure began, Russell went into cardiac arrest and died. The lawsuit says her cause of death was determined to be pulmonary fat, emboli, and bleeding due to liposuction and bilateral gluteal augmentation surgery. Attorneys representing Russell's family said Sampson was not allowed to perform surgical procedures at the facility and alleged that seduction provided Russell with falsified paperwork stating that he had plastic and cosmetic privileges at a local hospital when he did not. They also, <clears throat> they also accused seduction of falsely marketing Sampson as a surgeon performing surgery at its facility. Seduction Cosmetic Surgery Center Corp. and Sampson, both named as defendants in the lawsuit, did not immediately respond to a request for comment Thursday. 
The suit says that in May 2020, Seduction submitted an application to Florida Health Department listing Simpson as its designated physician and did not list him as a surgeon. Simpson's responsibilities, according to the suit, were to ensure the facility was complying with all applicable health and safety standards and requirements. At all times, materials here to defendant Simpson was not approved to perform surgical procedures at seduction, the suit says. On June 16, 2021, the lawsuit, lawsuit claims Simpson performed procedures on seven patients, including Russell. It says that its first procedure was at 6.32 a.m. and that he began operating on Russell at 8.31 p.m. following a nearly 14-hour shift. 14 hours on a work shift and you're performing a BBL on somebody. Now, at 14 hours, I don't care who you are, your brain is kind of warped from working all day. It's going to be somewhat warped. Since September 2022, Simpson has been permanently restricted from performing gluteal fat grafting procedures and serving as the designated physician of an office surgery center. Russell's attorney said that the department's decision was a very small step in the right direction. You think somebody had to die for y'all to make that decision? Do you really think it was the right decision? Duh. We should not accept this type of conduct in our community. Our firm looks forward to moving this case forward and uh, holding these defendants accountable for their actions. A Brazilian butt lift is a procedure in which a doctor transfers fat from the patient's stomachs, hips, lower back, or thighs to the patient's butt. It is performed in two steps. The doctor removes fat using liposuction and then injects the fat into the buttocks area. The fat examined involved liposuction and 92% involved gluteal fat transfer or BBLs. So as you can see, a mother of five 33 years old, she took that risk. And even though that doctor or that physician wasn't supposed to be performing these type of surgeries anyway, it's still a risk taking those, uh, or not taking those, but trying to get those BBL surgeries. It's a big risk. And women are dying day in and day out trying to have the perfect butt. And my question is, who are you doing it for? How much attention do you actually need when you have five kids? If, I got, if I've got five kids, I'm only worried about my five children. I'm not worried about getting a surgery to look better for somebody else. What are you doing it for? That is my biggest question to you women out there that are willing to go on these surgery tables and die. Who are you doing it for? Because anything now and like that you're doing, you should only be doing it for your children. It shouldn't be for anybody else. You shouldn't be trying to satisfy anybody else, make anybody else happy, impress anybody else. Y'all out here getting these BBLs and y'all are flat out dying. Some of the surgeons that, some of the uh, physicians that are doing these surgeries, they're not supposed to be doing them. Some of you women are going to these backyard basement surgery centers, getting them done, and y'all dying. And y'all can't even tell y'all story because y'all six feet under. What do y'all think about this? To the ladies out there, are you risking getting a surgery done or a BBL done if you really don't even need that done? Are you going to risk losing your life when you have five children? To the men out there, even if she did get a BBL, as a lady who has five children, with that BBL, are you still going to court that woman? Are you still possibly going to marry that woman that has five children? Is it going to impress you? Because once she tells you she has five children, I'm pretty sure that most men are going to be up out of, the, uh, up out of there. They're not going to sit around and waste time with her. They probably will smash. They probably will smash. But as far as making a commitment to that lady with five children, I, I personally I personally don't believe that most men are doing that. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, 
I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.